Hey guys, Render New Productions here, and it's that time of year again. What time of year are we talking about? We're talking about the time of year where I get an upgrade. <laughs> so, I ended up actually getting a new computer, and so, because of that, all of my videos from now on should be in a solid 60 frames per second 1080p resolution. Previously, all of my videos were in a 30 FPS uh, state, but now they should be 60 FPS 1080p resolution. And I also got a new microphone, so hopefully you guys notice the quality um, difference between my old microphone and my new microphone. Be sure to let me know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be discussing how to use buffers in Vim. So we've discussed several advantages and disadvantages of Vim. Well, not many disadvantages because there definitely aren't many disadvantages of using Vim. But one of the hardest parts about using Vim is doing things that you would normally do with the mouse. Uh, for one of the examples of that would be creating new tabs or just managing different types of files. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you all about buffers, windows, and tabs. So what are these things? So the buffer is essentially the window. Uh, no, uh, that's a bad term for it. The buffer is essentially an open file, let's just say. All right. so. In this window here, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and create a file, hello world. I'm going to go ahead and write this file as hello world.txt. So we now have this file that says hello world in it. So this file, since it's one file, actually has a corresponding buffer within Vim. So, and this buffer is being displayed on this single window here on the screen. So there are several things that we can actually do in order to change around the viewing of this. So say we want to edit this hello world file, but we don't want to uh, change our current position in the window. So in order to do this, we can actually split the window in half. So in order to split the window, all we have to do is type the colon, the colon split command. And if we do that, then it actually splits the window in two. As you can see, there's two buffers open containing the same file. Uh, the buffer actually has the file name at the bottom so we now have a split window uh, with two copies of the same file. Now in order to actually switch from window to window, we're going to use the control W modifier. So um, we type in control W and then we can actually go ahead and use the regular standard Vim navigation command. So if we type control WJ, we move down a, uh, a window. And if we type control WK, we move up a window. See how simple that is? Now we can actually take a window and we can split it in another way as well. So we can use the V split command to actually split the window vertically. So if we do this, it's going to actually split our current window vertically. And then we can go ahead and navigate to this window by using the control W and the H and L commands. So we can type in control W L, control W K, and then we're able to successfully navigate around these windows. Now this of course, the alternative of this would be using the mouse and clicking on the separate windows. However, in Vim, everything is faster using the keyboard. So because these are all the same file, we can actually edit one of these copies and all of them will change. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this file here, go down to the 10th line. Well, actually, I'm going to create uh, 10 new lines here. And then I'm just going to type, hello, um, Mars. And as you can see, the file contents and all of the files have changed. Now, typing in the colon split and colon v split commands are actually um, kind of annoying. So this can actually be shortcutted by using the window modifier and the s and v commands. So the window modifier is control w. And if we actually type control w and then s, you can see that it just goes ahead and splits the window. Same thing with control w v. It just creates a simple vertical split. So now we have this crazy hierarchy of all of these copies of the same file and we can go ahead and navigate them all and see that they are actually all the same file. Very interesting. So we just have a huge collection here of all of these files. So since each window um, corresponds to its own so each window is its own little operating area. So in order to actually execute commands on the window, all we need to do is make sure that our cursor is in the window, and then we can go ahead and execute colon commands. So if we want to exit one window, we move the cursor to the window we want to open, 
and then we execute the colon command that we want to execute. So in this case, I want to quit this window, um, and we're actually in the long bar in the middle here. So I'm just going to type colon Q, and it goes ahead and quits that window. Now, if I want to quit all the windows, I would go ahead and type in control QA or colon QA, um, and that stands for quit all. However, we can also use the window modifier to close windows by typing in control W C, and that just control or that just closes a window. So as you can see, navigating with Windows is pretty easy um, in Vim. Now we could also navigate with Windows by um, opening new files. So say we want to create a Hello Mars file to contain the Hello Mars line, and we want to delete it entirely from the Hello World. So we can go ahead and type vsplit hello mars.txt. And then inside of Hello Mars, we're just going to go over to Hello World, uh, yank that or delete cut the hello mars line paste it into this one delete this first line um, we're going to go ahead and delete all of that white space from the hello world file and we're just going to save them all so as you can see we just created two separate files and these are delineated by the little buffer status bars on the bottom which contain the the name of the files that we want to create so this is all uh, this is all set and fine as long as we want to constantly be viewing what we're working on. But say we don't actually want to view what we're working on all of the time. So say for example we have a client application and a server application. And although we're working on both at the same time, we don't need to be viewing them side by side. In fact, we probably don't want to be viewing them side by side at all. So in order to do this, uh, this type of functionality, we can go ahead and use tabs. So tabs in Vim work just like tabs in your web browser. Of course, back in the day, tabs existed before tabs did in the web browser, but now I can use that analogy. So in order to create a new tab, all we need to do is type in colon tab new. And as you can see, this creates a nice new tab at the top. And inside of this tab, there is a buffer. So we can go ahead and pull a file into the buffer by using the colon E command, and then just pull a file. So I'm going to pull hello mars.txt. And as you can see, Hello Mars is now inside of this tab. Now, just like with any other window, we can go ahead and vSplit this tab or split the tab by using all of our new window functionality. And it's just like our own little working space, which is perfect if we want to manage a single file here and a single file on the other tab. Now, what if we want to switch tabs? So in order to do that, we would type in the colon tab P here, and that stands for tab previous. So once we do that, we can see that it moves over to our first tab, which we're then going to quit out of the Hello Mars window. So now we have a tab for managing Hello World.txt and Hello Mars.txt. So now if we want to switch back to our Hello Mars tab here, we type in tab N, which you guessed it stands for tab next, which will actually move our tab forward. So this is basic tab management in Vim an easy way to manage multiple files, multiple buffers, whatever you want to manage. So say we're done with Hello Mars, we've actually edited it, and I'm going to go ahead and go to our biggest working space here, and I'm going to create um, a few new lines, and I'm just going to say, this is truly a wonderful planet. Oops, planet. It contains canyons, river valleys, and giant ice sheets. I'm quoting Brian Cox there, if uh, you were aware of that. And actually, I just duplicated this many times. I'm, I'm actually not sure how I did that. I think that I pressed a button on accident. But you know what? <laughs> we'll just go with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that file by typing in Control W here. And as you can see, we now have um, multiple windows containing the same file. So I'm just going to close off all of these windows by typing in Control WC. And now we have one single window. And now we have two tabs managing Hello World and Hello Mars. So now that I'm done managing Hello Mars, I'm just going to go ahead and um, type in Control Tab Close, or not Control, colon Tab Close here. And that will go ahead and close our Hello Mars window, uh, tab. And then here, once I have the Hello World tab open. The tab bar disappears since there's no other tabs, and then we can pretty much exit the program gracefully by typing in colon Q. And that is basic window 
and basic tab management in Vim. Now, the functionality of using tabs and windows is definitely uh, a lot more powerful than that. For example, you can go ahead and use tabs to find files and just open up all of the files matching that certain uh, red regular expression. Or you can use tabs to directly edit files from other tabs without even switching tabs. But this was just a basic overview uh, in order to give you a basic understanding of how to use tabs in Vim. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave a comment and I will respond to you guaranteed. Uh, you can also go ahead and navigate to bpforms.info if you want any additional assistance. But other than that, please go ahead and rate, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to teaching you in our next video. Have a great day. Peace.